So Jay, I think you know an easy place to start with you guys is, is on the infrastructure side, right? So so much of the transactions that occur in this industry from the ad standpoint come through Google to some extent. I'd love for you to kind of talk about what you anticipate 2015 looking like um, from the infrastructure side of delivery. Sure. Um, there are a lot of different things that we need to focus on, but a big priority for us is continued security um, or securitization of the entire ecosystem um, that we control and obviously also um, partners that play within our ecosystem. Um, the one, one big priority for us is switching everything over to secure socket layer. Um, so the impressions on a publisher site, um, the actual ad calls um, in the world of RTB, the bid and the ask have to um, also be wrapped in an SSL layer, and then also the creative. Um, so the delivery of that creative is, excuse me, the, the actual creative file has to be wrapped and that includes any tracking tags, et cetera. Um, easier said than done because obviously, um, you know, I would say the majority of the time we are not the ones in control of the creative asset. And there's a lot of different components in the work stream that we have to educate on, on why it's needed. Um, and so that's, that's probably the biggest challenge. So when it comes to SSL, I mean, what does that really mean for the creative agencies and for the, the ad side? I mean, what is, what's the advantage to them getting on board and taking the education seriously? Well, I mean, first and foremost, this is all about protecting the user. Um, we have to make sure that if, if you know, generally speaking, when you're a, a user in an SSL environment, sometimes you're in a, regis in, a, in a registered environment. So whether that's, you know, inside of our, you know, YouTube or Google um, or Facebook or anybody else, um, email, et cetera, you're going to be behind that layer. Um, but more and more content providers are also wrapping um, video in SSL in order to protect the content. Um, the, from a user perspective, if you're in that environment, you assume that it is secure. If there's an ad delivered into that environment and it is not secure, you now have a weak link. Um, theoretically, um, a nefarious actor, somebody who's putting a piece of spyware, malware, et cetera, that then leads to bots and non-human traffic, et cetera, could come in through that, um, through that you know, door, essentially. So all of this comes back to protecting the user and ultimately protecting you know, the publisher, everybody in the ecosystem from bad actors. So is it a Herculean task to get SSL fully adopted in 2015, or is it more iterative and shouldn't be too much of a pain point? Um, I would say both. It is a Herculean task because we've got to get the entire market to focus on this. Um, we control our ecosystem, obviously, and we can, you know, for the inventory that is Google owned and operated or the network that we manage, um, AdSense, um, we can handle all that ourselves and there's a lot of work to do, but nobody has to, you know, be concerned about that. We'll do that internally. Um, for the RTB ad exchange environment, there are so many external players in that. It's a massive open system, as we've talked about before. Um, we have to get everybody on board. So it means all of the DSPs, all of the ad networks out there have to now do some degree of development work to get their bidders to understand what the value of that impression is um, and recognize exactly what it is with that new attribute. They also then have to securitize the bid and the ask, as I was saying before. Um, and that does put a little bit of extra load on server capacity, not a tremendous amount, but there is some work to be done and there are some costs involved with, with doing that. Um, the creative side is the tough one because if you think about the overall workflow, you've got um, creative agencies putting together um, assets and putting together an ad, you know, an ad unit um, that may be going through a programmatic channel, but it also may be going through a direct sold channel that right. doesn't have that same requirement. So trying to get them to understand that just by default that everything should be SSL um, is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. And it just takes a lot of outreach. It takes a lot of time and energy. We're going to be talking about it at a lot of events throughout this year. So it, it's ultimately, it's not something that is insurmountable at all. I think by the end of this year, we're going to be in, the whole industry is going to be in great shape. And we're not the only ones that are taking this tact with security. So we think you know, the rest of the ecosystem is going to come in around us and, and it'll help push it over the line. And so internally at Google, you guys are already set for this. Yes, we're, we're at this point, um, YouTube took a leadership position in this last year and moved a, a massive amount of their inventory percentage into SSL. Um, the AdSense environment is moving into it. Um, it's a rolling, you know, rolling percentage throughout the year. We're not divulging exactly what it is because it obviously then tips off the, uh, the bad actors out there. So 
Um, you know, so people are aware that it's happening. Our biggest partners are already starting their dev work on it. Um, and so we should be in pretty good shape by mid-year point, but it'll take, you know, it'll take the better part of the full year to get us you know, to where we're comfortable where it's 100%. Great. So I think the last question, uh, 2015, one company other than your own that you're very excited about. Wow. One company. There's so many. Um, I, and let me preface this by saying it's not because we made an investment, but SpaceX. Is, okay. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk. I think he's one of, a great global entrepreneur. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan, and everything they're doing is amazing from Tesla to SpaceX. But really, when you look at um, you know, trying to, to further commercialize um, what used to be dominated, obviously, by governments and, and NASA in our case, um, it's a pretty bold thing, and, and I'm watching them very closely. 